I was wondering where all the RMs stayed, and they, so you guys have all the RMs in the world. This deserves in a show, showcase, not in a suitcase. Exactly. I can't wait to put it on a display. Bro. This is fucking insane, right? You buy this, and you lose 95% of your money from retail, right? From retail. This would probably be like 200k, and now you can buy it for how much? For 47. Exactly. And that makes this an absolute bloody bargain. That's insane. Time Peace Trading, bro. You already know with TPT. Shout out Time Peace Trading. Time Peace Trading, yes, sir. Welcome back again for another timepiece trading YouTube video. Big video this week. We actually have one of the biggest Hublot ambassadors and representatives in the world coming down into the office to check us out. You guys are gonna see the clips a little bit later in the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you wanna see next week. Let's get into it. Installing a huge screen on the wall. Interactive, huge screen. Yeah, I already I already don't move from that seat, so now it's gonna be You can harder. use it for your computer though. No way. Yeah. You can buy a sound bar or we're gonna put a, I will say a small receiver because that way you can put an Apple TV in one source and yeah, and then a HDMI to your computer so you can change with a remote back and forth. You can use it as a presentation, maybe your group meetings. That's you know, you can do like, hey, here are your cells, here are this, like, you know what I mean? That's really cool. Yeah, it's all centered, right? I think centered and then I think it's perfect. Yeah. I would say prioritize the screen. You can leave it there. What I, what I told uh, Omar, I was like, you can swap it. Like you can put the chairs here. Yeah, but it's nicer, chair. I think, for when there's people sitting on the yeah, sofa, we can see them. It so is. here or there would be. Or you can put the I couch think, there. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Well, definitely prioritize the screen, not the couch. The couch, obviously the couch, you can yeah. move the screen. In. <laughs> Once it's off, it's off. I also like the set. Yeah, I like it too. But you gotta let me know if the couch is here, then I'll work out of, you know, centering the screen, taking it into account kind the of couch. If the couch is not gonna be here, then I'll lower it a little bit so it looks more, you know, depending on what you have at the bottom. Um, I think that having like the top of the couch as the bottom of the screen, okay. either way, Perfect. Awesome. is better because worst case, even if I move the couch, I would put something under the TV, okay. like you know how like you have like a thing under yeah, your like TV, yeah, like a dance or whatever. Exactly underneath yeah, it. True. So I think I'd want space underneath it anyway. I think that's actually the perfect amount of space because that's okay. a very low couch. Okay. All right, you guys, we got Pride and Penny in Jesus the house. Jesus crazy. Nico's in from Ireland. In hell. We have to show I was wondering where all the RMs stayed, and they, they said, you guys have all the RMs in the world. Sean is safeguarding. <laughs> Holy f Honestly, I, they, they, make, they make a few pieces a year, but they're all, they're, they're, they're all here. <laughs> see that? Uh, we just saw it. Minute repeater. Can I see this black pumper? You could see anything, no problem. I've never actually seen one of these in the flesh. It's an interesting watch. I like that they did a little bit smaller on the size. I myself prefer the carbon, uh, the carbon concepts. What is this watch? It's a prototype for the the new release, the new freak. It's the prototype. Oh, this is the one you were telling me about. Yeah. I fucking love it. It is crazy. It looks horrendous from a photo. It looks shit. When you have it on the wrist, it's like holy. F the movement looks insane. Are they gonna make any edits to the watch or is this yeah, complete yeah, everything? Because yeah. I was the only thing I would recommend, and I'm sure you probably already right. recommended it, Talk. would be some I mean just from my point of view, I get the look that they're going for. Put some sort of color inside the dial. Bronze, gold, a uh, green, a yellow, something to make stuff pop out a little bit more. Just like even the bridge or something, you know? Uh, or a cool loom or something, like they have to do something like that. I think that would change the watch a lot. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I was looking at that on your wrist. Looks very nice. Bro. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? A Ulysses? Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's the new freak. But it's a prototype. It's people. fire, bro. It looks like TPT. I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's it, bro. But you see what I'm saying? If it had like an accent inside of it, it would be like really yeah, like aggressive. Yellow, red. Look nice. But this is gonna be in, a, in two years' time, bro. This is people will talk about this stuff. It's beautiful, bro. It looks nice. It's not even released. This no, watch. no. This Damn. one is. Yeah, like, it looks very nice on your wrist. Right. I love that watch, bro. 
Looks really nice. What's like, the price point? Like a hundred uh, something? Yeah, hundred sixty. Anything? Yeah. So for me personally, because I'm on a like on a different level involved with them, my advice and like okay, go this direction. TPT, bro, this is uh, fucking crazy. I was wondering about all the Richard Mills in the world were, <laughs> but uh, ah, they're in Miami anyway. For f sake, fair fun, fair play. That's There's good. a couple of them. Have you seen this before? No. I feel like this is a choice of stones that made it a piece unique. That's that's what, that's the same vibe that I get from it. They only made a hundred though, which is pretty low. But I could see five or eight or ten or something like that—a very low run. I mean, to, like someone to went in and it won that color with that stone. To assemble that amount of amethyst, like perfect matching, is crazy. That's ridiculous. Crazy, man. What do you think is about crazy. what do you think about the sizing though? Like. For me, I wish, listen, you would- 41, you're riding with this? Yeah, but the problem is, if I was, if you talked to me, so asked this question to me three years ago, I say 39 is my cap, right? That's what I want. But unfortunately, I ate a lot of fucking Big Macs and now 41 is looking small on me, you know? No, stop, so I'm bro. Like, I'm like, for me, I love, I've always loved the 41 anyway. I do, yes. I do think with the 15500 and then 15510, I think the case profile cool went down for me, personally. Like because it was too big. Yeah, the 15400 for me was the perfect case. And if you really want to talk about tradition, 15202, of course. But for me, the 15400 was just perfect case thickness. 15500 is just too thick, personally. He loves it. I'm not a, like, I look at this different. But the 26331, perfect chronograph. The problem is the module on that watch, the Dubois module is fucking shit. That's the problem. Instead yeah, they fixed thinking, all the problems with the offshores and the chronos now. I'm gonna show you something that I think you're really gonna like. This is like this is the this was the 15400 case profile, but it's in the 15500 is different. Way different, way different. I mean, they changed everything about the watch. Yeah. I, I see where they're going. They're going like more into the future with the look, but I would I would like to have seen them keep that glass they've had for so long. So here, this is a special one. I think you'll enjoy. Oh fucking hell! I've only seen one of these before. And guess what? It was the same play that was here. <laughs> yeah, from last time. All right. So did Drake not have this? Yeah, he does. He still has yeah. it. That's only the second one that we've ever had. The first one went to him, and then this is the second one. But I just found out something that I had no idea about, which is that they were only made in 2019. Yeah. Only made for one year. I had no idea. I didn't know that. I thought it was made for like two or three years. I didn't know one year. That's crazy. It's a hell of a watch. Hell of a watch. Proper orange and Bruno Mars, right? Uh -huh. Bruno Mars. Yeah. I think you guys move a lot of Rolex, right? Huh? You move a lot of Rolex. Yeah, yeah. mostly yeah. Rolex. Like we, they, we don't get a lot of RM. Some complicated to take. Requests, but right? some from definitely yeah. love they get them to more. This is my personal watch, bro. If <laughs> that's your personal watch, holy. F that's mad. You see that? Yeah, of course. You know what for me still is my favorite RM of all time? It's not gonna fit you, bro. I'm fucking right it is. <laughs> it I can't close it, man. Yeah, sure. yeah, looks cool on Nico, actually. Neil, Neil's got us removing the removables out here. And the non removables. <laughs> I don't know how I have such a small. That's insane. This deserves in a show, showcase, not in a suitcase. Exactly. I can't wait to put it on a display, bro. Like having all this okay. displayed will be beautiful. I think. Is a lot of your clients like did a lot of them come here? They local or do you do them? Do you like do a lot of court for I think now it's probably closer to 60 40. 60 coming here, 40 yeah, percent shipping. Here. And a lot come, come from here. far. Like, like a guy flew in this morning from New York, he's from Ghana, he flew to, he's from New York now, and he flew here just to buy two watches. Yeah. They come because they want to be in the block, right? Yeah. While they're yeah. 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 spending the money, they want to see. You know? They want to see. We're we doing like a, like a two, two, two and a half hour of him. Okay. Okay. We're like hiring a hundred kids. We do some cocktails with a DJ. All that are okay. all for you. Quite very good. good. Oh like, yeah, it was good. It slowed down a wee bit. The watch stuff I want to reduce actually. I want to reduce that because you want to. I want to deliver better than better, better videos, better content. Less and less. Yeah, le longer, rather do that. Longer but less. Sorry. Longer but less. More enjoyable. Like it's it's about the value you offer. Keep in mind, time 
is the most valuable thing we have. And someone is willing to look at you, your video for 15, 20 minutes, that means the world. So the person yeah. that watched that, that see that, they deserve the best possible content you can make. 100%. And if you, if you just do content for the sake of content, that doesn't work. You know, you're adding value to yourself rather than to the audience. And that's the most important thing. That's what I, how I look at the content stuff. And above anything else, you can only really be good at something when you truly love it. I love cars. Do I know anything about it? No. Okay. Do I do I act like I know anything about it? No, I don't. Do I fucking enjoy it? Yes, every second of it. Do I know my shit about watches? Yeah. Do I claim I know shit about watches? Absolutely. See what I mean? And that's different. But the fun stuff that we can do with cars, you ca I can't do it with watches. No. But it just goes hand in hand so well. You see what I mean? I thought about it and I wanted it for years and. It, you know, it, it, don't do that, it doesn't work. And this, you know, everyone always says doom scenarios. You, you, you just gotta do it. Ah, exactly. You do what you want. Exactly. I and think now at this point, people wanna see you as well, yeah. not just the, like what's flashing in the video, but they wanna see what you have to say about anything. You know, it could yeah. be it could be anything, which is the best thing. And so, you see this with like a lot of people who do YouTube and stuff. They'll do one thing for five years and then they'll transition to something else. And yeah, maybe a little bit of their following will fall off but then it explodes up because they're changing what they love as they go along and it, it's very genuine, you know? It's been an incredible journey, meeting the most incredible people. Like, we've had some fucking fun, mate. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie through the years. Yeah. But that is unbelievable, but like, that is that is the shit we need to, we need to enjoy. And that was the thing, how can you add more? The more value you add, the more, I, I believe, the more value you add, the more uh, love you get from an audience. So. That is the most most important thing for me. This is fucking insane, right? You buy this and you lose 95% of your money from retail, right? From retail. That's why what's like did this to buy it pre-owned is the best thing ever. Because this would this would be this would probably be like 200k and now you can buy it for how much? It was 190 something retail. Yeah, 190 we're retail. Selling it for 47. Exactly. How the fuck? And that makes this an absolute bloody bargain. That's insane. Because you can actually say this is a $200,000 watch. You see? So if you want to treat your wife on a $200,000 watch for 47k, there you go. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stevie. Take care. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you. All right, guys. What is going on? So I'm sure many of you out there are probably like. Sean's not reading the YouTube comments. Where's clocking in? Why aren't we talking about watches? Why are we just seeing clips? I wanna know about the watches. Guys, I read all the comments. I saw all of them and I'm happy to bring to you guys today. Clocking in, bringing you some pieces. So just to catch up with you guys, been a crazy past couple weeks, couple months, a lot of stuff going on, but I am happy to say that right now we have one of the best and most diverse inventories that we've ever had. Just reached in one box, pulled out a couple pieces, wanted to show them to you guys. These are gonna be pieces that we don't frequently have in stock. However, they are pieces that we often sell and that customers all the time ask for, and they're pretty cool to look at. So I'm happy to bring that to you guys, happy to show you what we got, and let's dive right into it with the first piece. So a piece that we recently just picked up, this is going to be the black ceramic chronograph. I'm sure you guys have seen this before on the channel, but that being said, this is the 50th anniversary 41 millimeter black ceramic chrono. This is a full set complete with box and papers. Guys, it's pretty crazy where these guys are priced compared to like the other perpetuals and stuff like that, which you'll see later in the clip. But price point, very close to retail, really beautiful watch, easy to wear. If you're looking for something ceramic from AP and wanted to jump into one, this is a really nice price point to sort of test the waters with. So if you're interested, let us know about it. We got it here in stock, beautiful 50th anniversary. Moving right along, let's keep up the theme of the ceramics. So guys, we just picked up this beautiful white ceramic perpetual. So a piece that we've sold many of, perpetuals are very near and dear to our hearts. However, this piece is in stock now, available for a new home. It's a full set complete with box and papers, 41 millimeter, of course and absolutely stunning. Not sure if you guys noticed, but it also was recently discontinued in the past couple weeks. So hot commodity guys, hot commodity here, the white, uh, white ceramic blue dial perpetual. Next up, we're going to talk about a fan favorite and a piece that a lot of people have been talking about. This is our first one that we've had in stock as well. This is gonna be the 5712 1R, the new paddock moon phase that I'm sure everyone's been going crazy for. 
Everyone's been wanting to see customers when they come to the office. They're super excited to try it on and look at it. This guy is a pre-owned complete piece. It does of course have the new buckle here, which does feature the extender. Very easy to wear. Rithik loves his. He has one in his personal collection, but this guy is for stock. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you a big fan of the 5712? Is it too complicated for you? What are you thinking about it? Let me know down below. Next up, this piece is actually one that is near and dear, not only to us, but to my heart. It's a watch that I love. We in fact have two of them. I actually took out the one that has the baby blue strap to show you guys, because I thought that this was going to be the better variation to show you. I like the white strap on it, but the blue looks nice on this watch. This is going to be the forged carbon offshore. So this is a full forged carbon case with ceramic bezel, GMT tourbillon. This watch boasts a damn near $300,000 retail. Absolutely insane. Today you can pick it up in the lower hundreds. Crazy deep value, beautiful forged carbon, black ceramic bezel. For all of you guys that like bigger watches out there, you want something lightweight, maybe you don't want to jump into RM and spend two, three, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000. This is your watch, guys. Forged carbon concept, absolutely insane where the price point is today. I think it should be a much more expensive watch. So rare, so beautiful, very easy to wear if you like bigger watches. And I mean, just look at that, guys. Look at that thing on the blue strap. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now, next up, we're gonna keep the theme of the strap watches. So we recently picked up a watch that we took a shot on a little while ago. It wasn't necessarily in our wheelhouse, but we got it. It only lasted about a week. A collector from Miami came and picked it up. We decided to double down and buy another one. So this is going to be the Patek 5270R Perpetual Calendar. Once again, guys, crazy value on this watch. $170,000 plus retail, trading in the low 100s. It's almost the same price as the 5712, 5726 um, in stainless steel, of course. Uh, 5711, it's right in that price point range, lower hundreds, around $135,000 watch, way under retail for a perpetual calendar. It is absolutely stunning. You guys have to take a quick look at the movement without showing too much. It's ridiculous, guys. Paddock makes some of the best dress watches. If you're a big dress watch guy or want something complicated with some deep value, 5270R with, of course, the beautiful buckle as well. Such a stunning watch. Boy, picked it up. It's in stock, ready for a new home. Let me know if you guys like it. Do you guys like dress watches? Do you want to see more dress watches? Do you want to see us buy some more dress watches? Let me know what you think. We've been taking a shot on some of them. This is one that actually has been doing quite well for us, and we love it. It's a really beautiful watch. The only thing I would suggest is to switch the strap. I'm not the biggest fan of this factory strap, but a lot of different options and combinations you can do with this guy. Moving right along, we have another pickup that is seldomly in stock, but a beautiful watch. Nonetheless, I'm very happy to have it here. This is going to be the 5968A stainless steel chronograph. Beautiful Aquanaut on the orange strap. So a lot of people that come in, they start asking about Aquanauts, 5168, 5168G, um, 5168R now, or even the travel times 5164, but this one is the big daddy of all of them. The 5968A, one of the most difficult watches to get from Paddock, by far an absolute stunner. It's funny because every time I've held this watch around these price points, uh, which today it is in the lower 100s, let's just say for round numbers, around $120,000 watch, depending, um, I have seen it go up dramatically after uh, after some time. So I've seen this watch go from 120 to 200 a couple of times. Now seeing it back down to 120 again, it's pretty crazy to see like the evolution of the watch and the changing of the market. But today, beautiful watch, actively traded, very popular piece from Paddock and happy to have it here in the office. If you're looking for something fun, sporty, and a little diversity in the collection, this is definitely a great piece to consider. All these pieces that I'm showing you today are pieces that we've not had in the office so much, but when we get them in, I'm happy to show them to you. So this is definitely one of them. This is gonna be the 5740 1G white gold perpetual calendar paddock. This one actually came from a collector. It is a 2019 new old stock. Everyone's saying, how do we know it's new? How do we know it's new? It's for sure new, still has the original stickers on the clasp absolutely stunning watch one of my most favorite and well composed watches in my opinion i love the way that the perpetual calendar looks on the nautilus i think it looks amazing it's actually a really good value as well in my humble opinion being a retail of almost hundred fifty thousand dollars trading in the lower two hundred thousand dollar price point range 
It's almost the same price as a 5980, which is crazy. Almost the same price as a 5712. It's pretty wild, guys. There's a lot of good value options out there in the market. This is definitely one of them, in my opinion. This watch has been really stable around that $200,000 mark for quite some time, and we have it new if you're looking for a new paddock. This one also has, even though it's from 2019, it has the new buckle, which is pretty crazy. Check that out. Doesn't have the extenders, but it has the new buckle. A little bit ahead of its time. Next up, we have a piece that I believe you guys saw in last week's video. So last week, we actually delivered this beautiful 16204BA to Nick Merckx. Rithik set up the deal with him, went to deliver it to him, and he fell in love with it. A lot of people were saying, I want one, guys. I want to buy a 16204BA. So what did we do? We went out and we bought one. So this is going to be the 39 millimeter jumbo skeleton 16204BA. We have this guy in stock, brand new, absolutely stunner. If you want to match Nick Merckx, this is definitely a good option for you. Um, but we do have this guy in stock, 39 millimeter, super easy to wear, super comfortable and beautiful with the yellow gold. I think a lot of people sort of forget and undervalue the fact that AP does not use yellow gold so much. So when you do see a piece from them in yellow gold, that is quite special. Um, but I have heard they have something new in the woodworks that's going to be a 41 millimeter variation of this in a skeleton as well. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Next up, we're going to go to two fun ones. Um, so this is a piece I think you guys saw as well, maybe in last week's video, but this is a piece that I have been having a lot of fun with and we've been having a lot of fun with in general here at the office, whether it's showing it to customers or making some content with it. This is going to be the Jacob Casino Roulette. However, this is not the regular piece. This is gonna be the piece unique. This piece actually features some beautiful rubies on the dial, as well as an emerald, as you guys can see around the dial um, for all of the hour markers. This piece is in stock, guys. We just picked it up. Happy to have it here as a unique piece. Really, really fun watch. And I mean, come on guys, this, it doesn't get any more fun than this. Uh, that's pretty cool, right? So it's an actual actual working roulette wheel. The ball actually spins around. It's a little bit difficult to do standing up, but if you were to place the watch flat, it will spin around and you would be able to actually, I mean, I guess you could technically gamble on it, but I think it's just more of a fun uh, little party trick or novelty and it's pretty cool to show uh, friends and other collectors and stuff. This is definitely a watch that if you see it out on someone's, someone's wrist, you're gonna be very impressed. I definitely have considered wearing it a little bit. I know Neil got some time with it, so absolutely fun watch and super happy to have it here in stock. Now, I wouldn't say that we left the best for last, but we did leave a very heavy hitter for last. So happy to show it to you guys. This is going to be the Blue Ceramic Perpetual. Now guys, this watch, absolutely insane. We were lucky enough to sell it to a few customers, even right on release. We got a few of them and a couple customers picked them up. But this guy was in stock. We actually just sold it to a very good customer, John Luca. Uh, worked the deal with this customer and got the deal done. He's going to be coming to pick it up. So unfortunately, as of this video, this one is sold, but happy to show it to you guys. It's an absolutely fantastic watch. The blue is just crazy. I don't even know if videos or pictures are going to do it justice, but when you see it in person, it's an absolute showstopper. Wearing it, it stands out in the crowd and very happy for the customer that picked it up. I'm sure he's gonna be super excited. A little bit of an update about this watch is they're actually not gonna be producing it anymore. They're gonna be producing a navy variation of this. So this is gonna go down to history as a very rare watch. Very difficult watch to produce. They did not make so many of them. Incredibly difficult to get your hands on at retail, of course. And even in the secondary market, they're hard to come by. I was looking for one for a customer probably like two or three months ago. I'm sure you guys saw the video. And it took me a little bit to find one, especially at the right price. A couple of people said they had it, but actually having one in stock, that's a completely different thing. So happy to have it here at the office and happy to show it to you guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Out of all of these, what was your favorite piece? Was there another piece that you saw on our Instagram or maybe TikTok or something like that that you'd like to see me review and talk about? Um, but let, thanks so much guys again for everything. Drop a comment and like down below and let's get back into the video. Girlfriend's probably gonna be like, why are you at the office until 11? I'm every working. Night? <laughs> I'm, I'm watching thinking. Netflix here. That's insane. You know, I'm, I'm what you pay for, yeah, it's a good investment, but you enjoy it for 11 years? I don't think it's bad at all. 
No, it's way it's it's way better than TV. It's way better than screens. It's way better than any other option. The other thing is being able to customize to a wall. It's the same thing. Like for instance, there's people in their house that have like breaks like that in this, yeah. in the perfect spot. You know, like a column, and you can you do can, stuff to go around it and it. over it. And like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. It's really really. Cool. I've even been to like houses where like it's like a slanted like corner room for for um, a living room, mm -hmm. and you're not able to put a TV like correctly, or it has to be in the corner, and it looks weird, and the couch isn't facing it. Like all your problems are solved with this. I mean, if you wanted your your TV on your ceiling, you yeah, want to lay in bed and watch like that, you can do that too. It's crazy. Yeah. Actually insane. Yeah. The internet sucks here. Though. Damn, that's cool. The quality is actually really nice. For being that big, it's yeah. crazy. It's just the internet's lagging today. Yeah, it's super lagging. And that's why it's like no, the internet's that bad. Yeah, yeah. Bad. What's up, brother? All good? Wow, looks nice. The internet sucked up. Like, yeah, it looks the lagging. That's lagging today. Yeah. I hope you don't lose your productivity with this uh, new toy that we have here. <laughs> I might, but, uh, I might lose a little bit. Yeah. So here is a. Uh, 145 inch TV, uh, the pixel place is 1.25, it's perfect for a uh, close distance. Uh, so whatever you guys need, I mean, you can go as big as you want, as small as you want, accordingly to, to your space. So we're here to help, whatever you guys need, just let me know, you know, my company, uh, we're Diamond Integration. Uh, if you need any information, my people here at TPT uh, will refer you to it, and obviously I will give you the best price, otherwise, you know, we won't be here at TPT. <laughs> I know they do the best prices. I'm also a client, so I know that for a fact. I'm not bullshitting anybody. But uh, yeah, here, here you have it, man. Like I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much, uh, bro. I really appreciate it. This guy came here three days straight, putting the screen together, making sure that everything was perfect for us. Thank you so much again, yeah, Ricky. No, you're the best. It, I really, really appreciate no, it. No, no, Guys, no. if you're interested in a screen like this, definitely let it. Definitely hit us up. I'm absolutely in love with it. I haven't even got a chance to like fully play around with it or use it to its full potential yet. So when we do, we'll tap back in with you guys. But yeah, check it out, guys. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Thank yeah. you, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. I almost forgot something quite important. So probably about nine months ago, we started to test the waters with some bags for our customers. A lot of our watch customers, especially the guys, have been asking, Hey guys, you know, I want to pick up something for my wife. Do you have a bag or jewelry or anything watch um, related for my wife? And oftentimes you do have a lot of options for them, including the jewelry and the watches and stuff like that. But sometimes I want to mix it up guys. So we started testing the waters with some bags. It went very well. So far we have sold quite a few bags. Very exciting. It blows my mind still that some of these bags are so expensive, but after I wrapped my head around it and I compared them to watches and other luxury goods, I definitely started to understand it a little bit more. Now that the showroom is coming along as well, we're gonna dive even deeper into it, but I wanted to show you guys two bags that we have here at the office because we are getting a little bit more serious about it and we're starting to buy some for stock. So guys, this is going to be the Birkin 25 with gold hardware. This is a very serious bag. Absolutely, there's probably some wives and people out there that are going crazy right now seeing this because one of the most desirable bags from Hermes, this piece is absolutely stunning with the gold hardware. This, as far as bags go, is like, I wouldn't say the Submariner, but it's one of the most iconic bags that there is from Hermes, the 25 size with the gold hardware. Easy to wear everyday bag and absolutely stunning. Now we also have some fun options, right? So we have here the 32 Kelly, which is also a very beautiful bag, but you guys can see it's a little bit different, right? We have a bigger size. We have this two-tone setup on this bag, of course, with the palladium hardware, a little bit of a bigger size, just so you guys can compare the two. We have a big difference in size there. So absolutely stunning example of bags here at the office. As we continue the showroom and as we start developing things here a little bit more with the bags, we're gonna have a lot more of them. So if you guys are looking to buy or sell a Birkin or Kelly or anything along those lines, please let us know and we're happy to help you. We look forward to doing some business with some of you guys out there that are big into the bags as well. I've met quite a few wholesalers and other people who are big into the bags and it's a really cool market guys. I'm happy to get to explore it. We're expanding the business here and we're happy to provide another product for our customers, of course. Now, you guys are watching this video, you're probably looking in the background saying, what the heck is going on here? What's, what's this screen in the back? The screen's done, the screen's complete. And I don't wanna say that my productivity has gone down a little bit, but uh, 
it's gone down a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, Ricky. I know I said that I wasn't going to hurt, let it hurt my productivity, but it ended up hurting my productivity. Here we have this beautiful LED screen set up at the office. I have been watching quite a few friends uh, stream. This is actually a very good friend of mine, Mike, who's streaming right now, been helping me play some COD at nights because I was in the blunder there for a little bit, guys. I was getting absolutely smoked. He got me out of it. Super fun to watch, great stream. Definitely go check him out. We'll put his link down below. But if you guys have any streams that you want us to watch, or if you want us to talk to you um, anywhere else other than like YouTube or Instagram or something like that, let us know. We're always happy to network, check people out. This is actually um, a really cool thing that we're going to be expanding into as well, which might be streaming. Actually, I'll just spill the, uh, the beans there. It will be streaming. We're gonna be streaming soon. Watch related content, maybe some games, maybe some other fun stuff. But thank you guys so much for checking out the screen, finished product. Happy to show it to you guys. Happy to have it here in the office. And when you come in, you got to check it out. Maybe Mike will be playing. Who knows? We don't know what we're gonna put on the screen yet, but check him out down below. And thank you guys so much again for watching.